In this video, we're going to be installing the buffer tube and takedown pin. You'll need a few things like a hammer, a center punch, an AR-15 tool, and a knife blade of some sorts. So, the parts you'll need is your buffer tube and spring, and your buffer, your castle nut, takedown pin, buffer catch and buffer catch spring, detent spring and the detent, rear end plate. First, <clears throat> we're going to be putting the castle nut onto the buffer tube. The large ridges are going to be facing the rear. Put it all the way down. Then we'll be putting the rear end plate onto the buffer tube. The raised end goes in towards the firearm. We will thread it once to get a hold. Then we'll turn the lower around, putting the buffer catch into the buffer catch spring. Pressing down, you're going to screw in your buffer tube until it holds in the buffer catch. <clears throat> Turning one quarter further, you'll be exposing the rear end plate. Now, you will put down your takedown pin just slightly in there, put in the detent, slide in your detent spring. Taking a knife blade, pushing in the spring. Be careful not to let go or pinch the detent spring. Then, turn the rear end plate and screw down the castle nut. Be sure not to pinch your takedown pin spring. Test for function. Sounds rough, but we can oil that. Then, we're going to take the spanner wrench on our AR-15 tool And tighten this down. I won't be torquing it, so I'm just going to hand tighten it. You'll want to torque that down to 40 foot pounds. Then, let's turn the AR lower back around and insert the deep buffer tube spring and the buffer. Now, you can put on your stock. 